Hi everybody, Cindy Ellers here from Cindy Stamping Studio. I'm located in the central part of Wisconsin. And first off, today is Monday, June 20th, 2022. It's a hot one here in, in at my house. Heat index is 105. Let's just say it's hot. And I don't know about you, if you're a warm-blooded person and you enjoy the heat all the power for all the power to you but I'm not Jim and I when we built our house we were putting the lawn in and we both got heat exhaustion so ever since that time we don't get along with the hot and humid it's not it's not my favorite time but for you that like it that's great Hi, Jeannie. Nice to see you. I see Sally is signed on, and there's Sherry Martin, and Ronnie Kayser-Smith, and there's Bernie. So, yes, I'll find myself on my Kindle, get myself situated here. But, yeah, I I only know one thing. Definitely hot out there. Yes, it is. And thank you for sharing, Sherry. I always feed the beagles before I get ready to even think about coming into my stamping room for a Facebook Live. There I am. There. And um, then, of course, let them outside. Well, Teddy, he isn't, he isn't a hot-blooded, doesn't like the heat either. He did his business, come right back in. Where's Tanner? look outside and there he is all sprawled out taking a sun bath what is wrong with you I said hi Tracy so nice to see you and I, I just I thought oh my gosh the only Tanner but like Jim always says he's our southern dog we got we went to Iowa to get him so but and he's a sweetheart too he's a beagle very 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 stubborn, not like Teddy. Um, sometimes he's so stubborn that you think that really, are you being stubborn or are you just not that smart? He's just being stubborn. I have so much to tell you today, but thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for saying hi. You know that gets you on my uh, door prize list, and I'll get to that in just a second. But... Um, if you don't have time to stick around, make sure you um, subscribe to my blog, which is also called Cindy Stamping Studio, and I will have a replay on Thursday along with an up-close picture of the card I'm making tonight and detailed instructions. So if you care to recreate this card for your very own, that would be wonderful. And I see Jan picture just froze but it's probably my end yeah so far even on my kindle it's looking good you had absolutely gorgeous weather the last few days we had gorgeous weathers too Jeannie. i mean saturday was wonderful and sunday was almost cool it was sunny no humidity see i i like sun and i you know, if every day was 80 and no humidity, it's the humidity that just is too much. Thanks for letting me know, Arliss, that yours is okay. And there's Courtney. So, yeah. Um, what we have going on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, the 21st, is free shipping with Stamping Up. So, woohoo! I plan to go and stock up on my card stock, that's for sure. Thanks for sharing, Courtney. I appreciate it. And there's Kathy Brost. So you're going to want to hop over to Stamping Up website and place your order tomorrow because it's free shipping. So that's a great deal. It's also the, um, we're also going to be losing our uh, January to June mini catalog. It expires the end of June. So if you have your eye on something pick it up tomorrow and um, I have a host code if you would like to use me as your demonstrator when I flip my camera I'll point it out to you um, let's see what else we got going on 
we have the last chance sale is going on for the January June mini catalog so hey not only can you get free shipping but you can also get it on sale hi Linda so nice to see you so I mean it's like a double whammy you know last chance sale is still going on and free shipping tomorrow so don't forget to get your orders in next week Tuesday June 28th is my June kit class I'll show you the cards in a minute or if you don't live in my area I have done that on more I'm just reading my comments I have done that Arliss on more than one occasion I'll put my order in and then a couple of days later Stamping Up comes with a special and it was like oh man oh well can't win for losing sometimes all right um, let's see I have my June kit class which is Tuesday June 28th if you live in the Nilsville area we would love to have you join us if you would like the like this as a class to go it is also available just pop me an email buddy b-u-d-y 98 at yahoo.com I have some great cards for the June uh, class to go and I'll share with you in just a second um, tonight's stamp set that we're going to be um, playing with is called nature's prints so I'm looking for, I'm surprised I haven't shared it yet right um, I have to share something with you a couple things with you actually but I was, remember last week I told you I had lost my stamp set? I looked everywhere. My stamping room is looking pretty clean too, by the way. And um, I looked everywhere. I pulled things away from the wall and I never found it. And I thought, well, maybe someday it'll turn up. Well, I had to get some labels. I, and I have them all in my file cabinet right here in a folder opened up the folder got my labels grabbed the folder just like this and I thought hmm I feel something turned the folder over and there was my stamp how long it would have sat in if I would have went for a label I would have been looking how long for it right thanks for sharing Kay and I appreciate it so the lost has been found I am glad for that so yeah Okay, before I flip my camera around, I have so much to show you, but I got to see my little Andy on Saturday. Andy and Easton, by the way. And so they came bebopping over, and she's such a character. And told, and when I told her I found my stamps, my stamp, well, wow, Grandma. How could you lose that, right? Well, yeah, it happens. They stick. And she went and picked out. It's always, I said something about, wait till I tell my Facebook ladies that I found my stamp set. And she, I told her, she went and, um, she couldn't believe that I would probably say, share that, but I did. But then I lost, God, I can't believe, I lost my door prize. I got two door prizes. That is always her big thing. Well, maybe it'll, I know I put it in my basket. Maybe that'll turn up too. Who knows? But I have more. I don't see it. Well, it'll show up. But anyway, we have some door prizes to give out. And hi, Patty. I'm glad I found it too. I mean, it would have just ruined the stamp set if I wouldn't have found it. I mean, what good it would have done, right? But anyway, we have some door prize winners. Four comments. Our door prize winner, and she's watching tonight. At least I think she is. I thought she was, but maybe with the heat and stuff, she got kicked out. But she's usually a very faithful viewer, and she'll catch the replay if she's not on now. Anyway, she doesn't stamp, but she always looks forward to watching my um, 
Facebook Live, and that winner is Sally Becker. So, Sally, I have, I don't know, about six to eight cards that I'm going to package up, all assortment, and send them to you, because I know you'll enjoy them. And the other winner is for a pack of uh, rhinestones that I am going to send to Kay Wire. So Kay, you have some rhinestones coming whenever I find them. And um, congratulations. So, yeah, well, I, I can't believe I... I can't believe I misplaced the the stamp or the I can't believe I misplaced my door prize. But yeah, I can. And I have I have some um beautiful birthday cards to share with you, which last Monday I said to you, I'm going to share with you my birthday cards, right? I shut it off, I hit finish, I hit that button, and I thought, oh, I forgot to do that. So, oh well. Okay, so let me flip the camera around. And you can see the beautiful weather we're having. And as you can see, it was too hot for Jim to work today, which with this weather, you're not at all surprised, right? I'm not either. Okay, so while I get everything adjusted, you can look at... I gotta pull this closer. There we go. You can look at my uh, poster that I printed out that we have free shipping tomorrow. Yay! Can't wait. And I just wanted to also point out July 1st, the new mini Cala goes into effect. Well, you are going to want to get your hands on that. And if you don't have a stamping up demonstrator, Consider me, and if you need one, pop me an email. I will get one in the mail to you. And, um, yeah, my email address is buddy98 at yahoo.com. Okay. Boy, that's actually, actually, it's pretty clear tonight. So, it's great. And besides the mini catalog, we also have celebration coming up so i can't wait to share some of those stamp sets my order is coming wednesday it seems like it's awfully slow but that's okay now let's also want to share with you i have a paper share going on for the new mini catalog we are you are going to love it and um you would receive the black and white designs. If you've already got your catalogs, you can um, check it out from there. The Boughs of Holly, Festive Foils, Gingham Cottage, Lights Aglow, Painted Christmas. And Painted Christmas might look familiar because it was in last year's catalog, mini catalog. Rustic Harvest, Santa Express, Splendid Day. Storybook Gnomes, Sweetest Christmas, Snowflake Vellum, plus we'll get the silver and gold free uh, designer series paper and the Rings of Love. That is 108 six by six sheets. And um, that's 108 six by six sheets of designer series paper. And the price is only $25. If you need me to send it to you, postage is extra, just so you know. Um, it usually it runs about 4 $5 for postage. It's not real bad. It's not terrible, terrible. So I was just reading the comments. And Patty... I will be thinking about you tomorrow having total knee replacement tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Yes, I will be thinking about you for sure. If you're interested and want to get on in on the paper share, I only have three spots open. Only three spots. 
I can do a second paper share, but that usually doesn't work out so good for some unknown reason. But if you want in, go and send me an email. That way I have your email address. And oh, Okay, I just saw your comment. Okay, I will write you down right now. And so now I only have two. Okay, you're written down, and I got you down, Bev. Boone, and hello. Okay, birthday cards. So here is a beautiful birthday card I got. This one I got from Deb Vine. Isn't it pretty? Very, very pretty. Okay, we'll put that one right here. I'll save that one for last. I'll save that one for second last. Oh, we got this beautiful card. I got this card from Linda Hodge. I thank you. I'll put that one there. I like that. This card, I know I got it from Rita Jacoby. She's one of my regular stamping ladies. It's a, what is that, Dutch Fold, I believe it's called. That was very pretty and springy. This was this started out as a thank you card, but I received it on the Saturday before my birthday, and I thought it was a birthday card. And this is from Jeannie Mullen. So isn't that pretty? I I saw it on Facebook, or else she messaged it to me, and I thought it was so pretty. And then here she sent me one, thanking me for a door prize she won. I got this card from... Corey Ham. This beautiful card from Lisa Souza. I think she really likes coloring because she does I uh, she does beautiful work. Very pretty. I'll put that one there. I got this card from my friend Karen Flynn. And I appreciate it. I got this nice Pretty card from Mary Dukes. I thank you. This is a pretty one. I got from Arliss. And I thank you. And I got this really pretty card. Look at it. It's a pop-up. Huh? I'll be taking this card apart to figure out how to make it, which is it isn't too hard. I got this from my friend Jan. It's very pretty. I got this card from Judy Vine. I appreciate it. I got this lovely card, which I told you about. I got this beautiful card. Look at those wings on that snap dragonfly, rather. I was going to say snap dragon. What is I thinking? This dragonfly, isn't that pretty? And there's some Wink of Stella on it. I got this from my friend Bernie. Isn't it pretty? Okay, well, and then this card. This was the special card. It will go on my wall with all my special cards. And just look at, just, it's just hard to believe that somebody 11 years old could design this. But Andy and Easton made this. I'm sure Easton punched out all the circles and they did the flowers. It really is just a very cute card. And and because she's so short, she always picks retired stamps because those are on the bottom rows. There's something really worth celebrating today. You, happy birthday. Love, Andy and Easton. I hope you have a great birthday. So that was my cards. They were all beautiful. It was kind of nice to enjoy them again. So it's almost been a it's almost been a good thing to that I forgot to show them to you last week. Hi Lori Hall. I'm so glad you're not late. I'm so glad that you made it all the same. Okay. Let's get us situated. We like I said, oh, before we get going, this June stamp of the month is brewed for you. This is the stamp set that made June stamp of the month. Now, as you know, you can get this stamp set and a four-card kit for $24. All you have to do is pay for the postage 
to get it sent to you. If you want to bundle it with the coordinating dies, you pay, you pay, oh, where's my notes? Right here, 37, excuse me, 37.75, and I will give you the four card kit for free. And what these card kits um, amount to is the card bases, the layers, the designer series paper, the ribbon, the embellishments, any die cuts, any embossed um, items and envelopes, along with a, along with typed out instructions. Oh, I see, I see that. I, I see that, Arliss. I will put you down right now. So then I'm down to one person more, and we have a complete paper share. If anybody's interested, I can do a second one, so keep that in mind. I will be letting everybody know that we have a paper share. Um... I will let everybody know that we're having a paper share, and if you're out of my area, I can invoice you via uh, PayPal. The ones that are local, I will let you know that you can send it to me. Back to the June stamp of the month, and um, I type out the instructions along with color photos of the envelopes, of the envelopes, color photos of the cards. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Bev Boone will do the last one. Okay, we have a full paper sh share. But remember, I can do a second one. So if you're interested, pop me an email. Um, I always type up the instructions for the card kits. They include a color photo of... They include a color photo of the card, so it's real easy to follow along the instructions and make your card. So if you're interested in uh, participating in the Stamp of the Month, pop me an email, buddy98 at yahoo.com. Okay, I'll be working on these cards prime this week. I have to finish cutting out the, um, I have to finish cutting out the, kit cards and class to go. I'm working on those right now. Now I want to show you this. Isn't this pretty? Andy made it for me. For her birthday, Jim and I gave her these clay beads and I told her, I said, oh, you can make me a bracelet. I like bracelets. So she made me this bracelet and gave it to me today. It says hope. And um, I gave her the beads and I gave her a stamping up uh, Tumblr, but hers is in Orchid Oasis, and she loved it. So you can also order them. There, that tumbler will keep things cold all day with no problems at all. I couldn't believe it. I mean, the next day there'll still be a few uh, shivers of ice in them. Okay, we are using Nature's Prints nature print die and the fern 3d embossing folder those are the items we're using on tonight's card okay we will also be using the starry sky matte dots that are in the new annual catalog okay the ink starry sky and gray granite Okay, all right. Let me get let me get myself situated here. Taking everything out of my basket, and I haven't found your rhinestones yet. Okay, but I will. Well, they weren't in there. I don't know where I put them. Oh, I found them. Okay, so here are the rhinestones that K is going to get for her door prize. I think they're called champagne colored ones. Pretty sure. So I will put these right by the envelope. I do have the envelope all written out and I will pop them in the mail tomorrow. Okay. 
we have, let me put these over here, and I'll put this over here. Tonight's card is a very pretty card using the new in color Starry Sky. So, our base is the usual five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. It will be an up and down card. So we we'll go and um, have it going this way. Now, let me see. I used for my layer. It's going to be a gray granite layer. This is what it looks like. I've already run it through the Fern 3D embossing folder. So you can see it. I really like this. This is just beautiful. Um, now, if you're wondering about my blue dot, with the 3D plate, I put a blue dot on it. So that when I'm at stamp class, it is the best gift, Bev. And it is a pretty color. I She picked out all the colors for my bracelet that I like. So that made it nice. But when I do a class, I always just reach for the blue dot. And we're all trained on that. So that works out pretty good. Okay, so here's that. Let's glue that down. We don't have to worry about losing it. But yes, I really... I, th I, I kind of kiddingly said, well, you can make me a bracelet. I like bracelets. And she did. So that was really nice. She had horseback. She's trying to earn horseback lessons. So she had that today. And the lady that does it only lives three miles from our house. So I went and picked her up and delivered her. And I thought one day she came to our house after, you know, and she wears her cowboy boots and her blue jeans, her flannel shirt. And that one day I said to her, oh boy, Andy, you really sound, you really smell kind of horsey. And she says, Grandma, I like that smell. Okay. Well, you do. <laughs> this will be of the white piece for the inside. We're not ready for that. Now, these are the these are a couple of the dies that I haven't um, cut out yet. And what I'm going to do is use my gray granite. Hi, Deb Vine, coming on late, which is no problem at all. But she likes smelling like a horse, so to each their own. She loves horses. Okay, we're going to stamp our fern in gray granite. I'll put that aside. And then I'm going to turn it around, cover up my gray, because you know, you know what I would do. We're going to take the flower and I'm going to put it right here and stamp that. That turned out good. My Starry Sky ink is so very, very juicy. Oh, my. It is very juicy. So we'll stamp it off. And I will, well, I'll leave that out. Um, there is, in the dies, uh, let me get them. In the dies, we have a beautiful, there we go. We have a beautiful um, wreath, and it'll cut out all the images on our stamps. We also have two. So, like, like if you have to, if you want to go and cut out two sprigs, you don't have to run it through twice. You get two of them. That's the same with these. You get three. You could cut three of these out. And a tag. So... I want I cut it, I pre-cut the tag out, but because I have well why did I do that twice? But it turned out just fine. Okay. Now I will cover it up. 
This is just like an accident waiting to happen in my book. Okay, so we have that. We'll put them right there so we don't lose it. We will get our mini boss out and cut these two out. And I did that on purpose. Yep. Let me move this forward. I did it on purpose so that you could see me stamping. Now, I, here it is. I like to go and tape my dies down, especially on the mini boss. For the simple reason, they sometimes shift on me, and I don't quite know why. And, of course, they're going to be too, the tape is a lot of times too sticky. Hopefully, we'll get them out. Now remember, if you're interested in that paper share, I can do a second one. Um, if you're interested in the class to go, pop me an email on any of it. Okay, perfect. Looks good. Let me let me get this out of the way. That's kind of nice. I like this mini um, die machine. It cuts there. Oh, I had to hold my breath. It does a good job cutting out there. Okay. I will just leave these taped right to this little piece of paper so I don't lose that. Not that I ever would, right? Uh-huh. Sure. I went and cut out using white cardstock the wreath. That really turned out pretty, I think. And put him there. I cut out a sprig. And um yeah, so we got that. I thought I had two sprigs, but that's okay. I am also going to use the Sun Prince as a layer. So let's just go and start putting this card together. I think it will look really nice right there. A little, you know, not right in the center, but a little off to the left. Okay, we are going to put this right about here. I thought this was so pretty. Okay, now we'll just slide this aside. We're going to put our wreath right here. Okay, now I did not use, and don't listen, um, I did not use the adhesive sheets for this wreath. There was a good reason for it. I want part of it to um, stand out. I don't want it to be like totally glued down. Like some of these leaves can stand out. There's one piece I didn't get. So I have no problem putting a little glue on certain leaves. And like I said, I, there, I don't want it all. Okay, I'm going to put it just like this and glue it down. Perfect. I love it. Okay, we are going to get our regular size dimensionals that I've already cut in half.
and we'll use the three of them. And my take your pick tool. And we will we'll go and put this right here. Just like so. Now I'm going to take this and taking a little piece of tape, I want to go and tape tape my little, this is soft succulent. I'm going to go and tape that right to the back of my fern leaf. I got some glue on my finger. There. And since the tape is on the back, it won't it won't be a problem. We're going to use mini dimensionals on the back. Okay, mm, we better put one more right there. Okay. If you haven't signed up for the class to go or my kit class um, and want to be sure you get the cards you want, make sure you pop me an email. Let me know. If you want to live dangerously, I always cut enough for 15 cards. We're going to put this right here, just like so. And then we're going to take our flower and put... A dimensional, we'll put two. Okay. And we'll pop these off. And I am going to take my paper snips. There's Sandy Schumacher. Well, hi, Sandy. Nice to see you. I want to cut, just trim that stem off the flower, and I'm going to put that right there. Just, I don't know, I just liked it that way. I think it turned out good. Okay, let me close up my glue. Not quite done. I am going to take my Starry Sky Matte Dots. And I want to go and put one there, and I want to put a little one right there. Yep, look good. Let's take our inside piece, and I have a strip of starry, not sorry, sun prints designer paper. Why let this paper go to waste? It's so beautiful that I save a lot of these scraps and reuse them. Okay. That gives me a little bit of wiggle room. Perfect. Let's just trim the edge off. It is, it's, I love this color. I'm so glad that I chose this to use tonight. Now we're going to go and, um, we're going to go and put another decoration on it. And that's the flower. Right like so. That turned out very nice. Let me close this up. And I will get the gray granite out because I want to, my, uh, inside it's going to say a heartfelt thank you. 
just like so. Yep. A nice contrast. We'll put that on the inside. Not a fancy fold tonight, but it's a very pretty card nevertheless. Keeps you wondering, right? That's what I think. Colors are beautiful. Yes, thank you. I think it turned out really nice. So, yeah, here's that card with the Nature's Prints. If this is something that you're interested in, let me know. Um, I would love to earn your business. I will, I guess that's it. I will see you all next Monday for another uh, card. And you take care, everybody. And my kit class ladies, I'll see you next Tuesday. I always look forward to that. And um, have a great rest of the week. Try to stay hydrated and cool in this really hot weather. And um, thank you. Take care, everybody, and happy stamping.